Now let's bring you the next story. Uh, racism has read its ugly head at the start of the academic year. The Gauteng Education Department has asked the South African Rights Commission to intervene following alleged racially motivated clashes at War School Jan Feliun in Ranfontein. School made headlines when parents and learners there protested. To unpack this, uh, let's speak now to the chairperson of Parliament's Basic Education Portfolio Committee, Ms. Bongiwe Mbingo Gigaba. Ma'am, good afternoon. Thank you very much uh, for your time. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess it's a tragedy that we still face with, uh, with racism, particularly at our schools, or especially at our schools. Uh, uh, just your initial reaction first, before we get your thoughts about what you think can be done. Uh, how, what's your reaction when you heard this story from war school Jan Felyun? Good afternoon, um, Dan, and good um, afternoon to the viewers at home as well. Look, I must say, um, look, it's, it's embarrassing. Um, it is really embarrassing. Uh, it's, it's, it's so unfortunate that uh, we still have got um, schools that um, would, would treat um, the issue of race um, so insensitive. You know, it's still an embarrassment in this day in our country that um, racism is so rife. So I must just say that from our side, as the portfolio committee, we feel very bad about it. And I must say that it's a matter that needs to be really condemned um, in our country, in all our schools. Yeah, when you have ch children involved, I mean, I, what I thought, I'll share with you, ma'am, what I thought when I saw the story, I had the story that one child, a white child, called a black child, the K-word, and I'm thinking, where would they have learned that? And I think maybe the challenge begins in the home where a child is exposed to that kind of language. Maybe parents are using it as if it does not mean anything. By the time you get to the schools, the damage is done. Look, then, um, and I think that that was also the, the question when I when I saw the video and I read the story, um, which means that um, there are there are parents uh, who are still referring um, to people like that. They are still using K word when they when they refer to parents because. Um, even a grade 12 learner um, in 2022 definitely would not have experienced uh, apartheid uh, of this country, would not understand such type of a word you use um, with people of, um, of, of a particular color. So in this instance, it says that... Um, you know, they can only learn it at home. They can only um, understand that that people who are seen with that particular color, this is how you should yes. characterize them. So, so, so from your, your thinking there as the Portfolio Committee of Basic Education, what can schools do in the fight against racism today, taking this Ranfontaine war school, Jan Felun, as an, as an example, to, uh, to, to deal with it effectively, to avoid it from carrying on? Schools, um, you know, when you, when you read the story and followed, you, 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 you get a feeling that even in the school premises, um, teachers are treating um, learners who are black in a different manner. So our schools, you need to get teachers that understand they are there to teach because teachers should understand their role. They are there to teach. And when you teach, you don't teach learners of a particular color. You teach all learners and you give quality education to all the learners that are in front of you. So it starts with teachers because teachers are regarded as second parents. Uh, that's how we grew up, all of us, knowing that 
um, teachers are regarded as second parents uh, in, 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 in school. But also, this thing of race, because we, there is no way in these years we would still define particular schools, even if they are still named as war schools, um, war schools, Yan Felyun. So you would want to say that it should be characterized as an African or as a white school, not in 2022. It cannot be accepted. Yeah, no. So it yeah. starts there in school, but also parents themselves, parents themselves, you can't tell your children at school that actually those black, those black children uh, don't even supposed to be to be there because what parents unaware are doing are creating a situation of hatred, you know, amongst children uh, in the in the school yeah. uh, premises. I think you, yeah, I think you make you make a very good point there, ma'am, and uh, that's where we're going to have to leave it. Thank you very much uh, for your views. That's Ms. Bongewe Mbingo Kikaba. She's the chairperson of the Basic Education Portfolio Committee in Parliament. We're talking.